guys, this is Rise, and I'm back with another StarCraft II commentary. And before I start off, how awesome was that intro? Was that not badass? I think it was badass. Got to say thanks to DKH. Uh, you can find him as DKH on Team Liquid and SC2GG.com and a couple other places. He's the one who made that intro for me uh, after I had posted asking for help to make one. And that, I just thought, was fan effing and, and so great job to him. Uh, if you have any interest in his work, go check out his YouTube account. It's in the uh, description box to your right. And I think it's like Chucker at Work or something like that. Excuse me. <coughs> Blech, I'm choking on coffee. I got to wake up. It's early. I told the response that I was going to do this game for him. So uh, let me just pause for a second. Because I feel like there's so much stuff to talk about. And you know what? It's going to be – I have to go for an extra – I have eight minutes extra that I can go for because we know the length of this replay because I haven't figured out how to do it yet uh, without blocking it with a stupid thing on YouTube, which I don't want to do. Anyway, uh, I said re to, uh, to response I want to do this replay. And why did I stop it? Actually, I'm going to play it. There, there's plenty to talk about, but there's plenty of time to talk about. So I'll get to that stuff in a minute. So we got Davey versus Response. And if you didn't know, Davey is David Kim, one of the balance testers. Actually, he's the lead balancer at Blizzard for StarCraft II. Saying he's played about 200 games, right? His record at about 100 games was like 95 to 5. I mean, he was just demolishing everybody. But now, as he starts to play more and more games, and everybody else has started to play more and more games and start to figure out how StarCraft II works, how strategies work, unit combinations, all that fun stuff, he started losing. I think he, at the time of uh, this game, he probably had like 15 or 20 losses, you know. Still probably the best ratio in all of StarCraft II. Uh, but at the same time, not nearly as good as it was when he first started. So anyway, um, I told Response that I was going to do this today, which uh, is March 4th. So hopefully it will be up by late March 4th. And uh, the reason it took me so long to get to it, first off, the reason I'm redoing it is because uh, I've been having some graphical lag issues. And I don't know why, and I don't know if it's going to go away, to be honest. I tried reinstalling drivers and blah, blah, blah. Um, but for this game, it may not be perfect. I just, I got to get the game up because it's a good game. I said I was going to get it up, and I don't want to wait any longer. So hopefully you guys can deal with any of the graphical stuff in the meantime. It doesn't get too bad. There's just one fight in particular where it gets laggy. So yeah, that means I saw this video. Sorry, I won't spoil anything. And um, But that's just how it goes occasionally when you have technical difficulties. So anyway, this is an exciting game. For one, it's a PVT, and for another, it's... Uh, Response versus David Kim, both players at the top, if not the top, of their platinum divisions. Both great players, obviously. Uh, Response, by the way, well known on Team Liquid, especially Team Liquid. He streams all the time. Uh, very good quality stream, worth checking out. Uh, his his name is Response on Team Liquid, so he's pretty easy to find. And uh, he actually he also does lessons for StarCraft and StarCraft Two. If you were interested in that sort of thing, so if you are, I'll uh, I'll put his link a link to his. Uh, I don't know, a stream or whatever, in the comment section. And if you want to talk to him, feel free to. All right, enough on that. Uh, the other reason it took me so long to get this out is because I have just found employment. <laughs> I'll be working at Wellman Products. They, they make uh, um, clutches and things like that for high-performance vehicles and Caterpillar and military applications and all that fun stuff. And I will be starting there on Monday, <laughs> March 8th. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing, man. Being a commentator, you're like the best interviewer ever because you can talk fairly well, or at least when you've had as much practice as I've had. So um, all I had to do was get a damn interview to get a job, and finally I got my first interview with a company, and I got the job. And uh, I did it through an unorthodox way, by the way, while I waited for the action to start up here. I uh, Basically what I did was I found the HR person on LinkedIn, and I emailed them. And uh, because you never get through that stupid online job application process. And having emailed her like that, you know, I got right through and they were like, oh, they were all about it. They were like, yeah, that sounds great. Come in for an interview. So it went well. Anyway, enough about my interview story. Let's get back to StarCraft II. Looks like Davey is going to be warping in an orbital command at his command center. Uh, what that's go going to allow him to do is call down the mule, which we'll see in a little bit, as well as ComSat and I think even one other ability. If you haven't seen Diggity's 1000 video, by, video, by the way, be sure and go check it out. That thing is epic. It's uh, It'll show you the other option to build other than an orbital command center, uh, along with an epic replay commentary 
uh, voiceover from Diggity himself. And oh, look at this. Davy Kim, fast expanding, loading up with some SCVs, the max you can load up. And oh, brilliant. Instead of trying to break through these rocks with 2,000 hit points and super armored structure, uh, so it. You, you do hardly any damage against it. He does what the Terran players should always do when expanding, uh, if trying to expand early, and safely for that matter. He's just going to float right over, and, and the beautiful thing about the command center these days is you can pack in extra SCVs. It's an upgrade to actually bring more SCVs, but you can bring up the five and store them in there to... Uh, to, to float him over. And now we see the mule down. He called it over a little while ago, and we're, we're seeing another orbital command center being warped in over here. The mule, what it does is basically it mines more minerals per stack, per uh, per time over there. So one of the things worth noting is Terran can technically get yield more minerals per mineral patch than any other race because of the mule. And it looks like scouts finding each other, so it looks like both players know who where is where. Um, I don't know if that came out right, but that's okay. Uh, by the way, this is Kulas Ravine. I don't know how to really say that properly. Kulas Ravine, I guess. And uh, a four-player map, kind of an interesting setup where your natural is above you, uh, but also blocked in. There is a rock wall in the back, as well as your entrance. And so, uh, basically, it makes it semi-protected. As well as a good natural expansion that's pretty well protected with two chokes. Um, although you have to watch out for this bush. Now, against Terran, this is very dangerous because of the Reaper. So, you know, Protoss don't really fast expand ever in this game anymore. It's very difficult to, anyway. I mean, certainly you can pull it off, uh, but most players are having a tough time with it. Um, I guess it looks like Davey is now confident that he should break that down so he can get more SCVs in and out. Uh, he is still doing a good job. If we look at the income tab, we can see the benefit to that uh, expansion. He's definitely up above uh, response over here. He's going to hit probably around 1,000. And again, we were talking about how this is like a moving day average, not so much of current income, um, current resources on hand. If we wanted to see that, we would go here. And that would show us spending. And it would look like response just saved up for an expansion. And uh, yep, there in fact it is. Looks like he's building it now. Uh, so Response is going to try to catch up a little bit. In the meantime, Response has a couple of warp gates out. He's already got a couple of uh, immortals out. Uh, great units to have, especially against heavier duty units. Um, and in the meantime, it looks like Davey is starting to tech up a little bit, making his first factory. Now, Davey decided to go for a three barracks build, two of which with these tech labs, which allows you to do things like upgrade stim pack. Um, you can get... Uh, movement boost for Reapers. He's not going Reapers, it looks like. It looks like he's going to go strictly mar uh, Marine Marauder. And uh, actually, he got three tech labs. I'm sorry, I should have uh, pointed that out. I thought that was a different building, but no, it's not. So uh, basically what that means is he can make more Marines. He can make two Marines at the same time. Uh, nope, 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 sorry. The other, that's the reactor core <laughs> addition. Again, this is still kind of early in the game, so I mix up some of the terms occasionally. Um, this is the tech lab, obviously, which, which makes, allows you to make marauders in the first place. Sorry about that. I effed it up. I know, I know. I'm a horrible person. Uh, Davey still making pretty good use of these mules. As you can see, they time out after a while, and, uh, the interesting thing is, if they time out while carrying minerals, you don't get them. You just lose those minerals. Uh, I guess worth knowing. Not really that important of a, uh, task. Uh, another thing about mules that people don't really realize at the, uh, at first is that they can repair. Now, that's pretty wild that you can use them to repair. I think that one actually just lost minerals. Anyway, it looks like uh, Response is actually getting a second expansion at this point. That will put him back ahead in terms of income. And uh, right now you can see he's still behind, especially having just spent that uh, on that. Well, actually, spending doesn't really do all that much. Uh, but, but having just uh, gotten the second one up and running, transferring the probes, that hits your income a little bit. And then getting this up, this is going to certainly put him ahead if Davey doesn't do anything. But Davey, because of the mules, he could stay pretty even for quite a while. Uh, APM-wise, looks like response is hovering at close to 150, where Davey is at about 120. Again, Davey isn't exactly, you know, he's not a professional gamer. Well, I guess technically he is, because he makes video games for a living. Uh, but he doesn't play for a living. And response is uh, pretty close to a professional gamer in the... Uh, in the respect that he really does play a lot, and and clearly, if you watch his stream, you see that he plays a lot, and and clearly that pays off considering he's well, maybe not literally pays off, but oh wait, no, it does because he does the lessons, so he gets his name out there. That's a good idea, uh, but but in terms of um, 
ranking pays off. And look at that, our first lame-ass comp set. 